work here. I'm going to do the rolling out piece first. Feel free to switch it up and do the exercise piece of this first. So just rolling out my forearms and also stretching my shoulder blades here. You can also do this one flat on your stomach. This makes it a little easier for me to talk to the mic. Awesome. Oh, and just keep going where this needs to. A little bit of a cat stretch here, cat sitting. You can pretend that you're on the trapeze table using the roll down bar. So I'm straddling here. You could be on a mat with your legs straight or bent. And then taking it forward. Really round your spine coming in. That's a four, pretty nice for this kind of work. Okay. Next, I'm gonna roll out my calves a bit, my Achilles. Making me think, oh, it'd be so yummy to roll out my feet a bit. My roller is kind of in the middle here of um, hard and soft. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the super hard blue or black ones. It just depends on which brand you buy. You know, this one's got some squeeze to it, but it's not as soft as, say, a super soft roller or a melt roller. For where I am in my body, that makes sense. Um, definitely choose what's appropriate for you. Okay, going back to the ankles. And you can do it to the rhythm of the music too. Okay, crawling up a bit here. So I switch between this method and this method. Good, I want some more pressure and some more weight. So I'm leaning with this foot, the full weight of it, and I'm even pressing down a bit. Good. Okay, let's do the other side that way. Ooh, just found a spot. A little deeper. So something you'll see me do in a second is skip my, the back of my knee and go up to my hamstrings. It's not a good idea to roll out the back of your knees, especially with any kind of weight on them. So once you get up pretty close to the back of the knee here, you'll skip forward, jump up to the hamstrings here. Okay, and we're gonna get the front of our legs at, at some point, so don't fret, we'll get there guys. And now it's like doing a reverse plank. I'm gonna start using my feet to hold up my body weight and my abs. So if you're comfortable here, you'll be comfortable in this piece. If not, maybe you wanna jump ahead to sitting on the roller. Okay, so here we go, guys. Notice my shoulders aren't here. I'm pressed into my palms and it's abs work. And you just have to go where you find spots that are necessary for you. If you don't have the balance to um, roll to the sides, don't worry, you'll get there. You just gotta start today. <laughs> start with where you are. And if you want more pressure, bring the weight of one leg on top of the other, whichever way you have balance. Keep breathing, check you're not doing something funky with your arms and shoulders, that your abs are still working. Okay, and I'm starting to find that lateral hamstring piece here. So right now my top leg, my right leg is down on the mat to help balance. I'm gonna do that same piece on my left side. You can really go for it here. Using now my left leg for some balance and weight. And then completely come to side lying. Again, don't roll over the knee, just get kind of close to it. Okay, 
Now I'm going to that junction where the glute and the hamstring kind of connect. And I'm coming up to more sitting because I want my body weight for my body. I want more pressure in there. If this is like woo, too much, you can bring your upper body weight out here and it will be more manageable. Okay, I'm gonna try that on the other side. I want a little bit more IT band TLC before I get into this. Again, that junction of the glute and the hamstring. You want to see if they can go from being kind of stuck together to being able to glide past each other and open up the tissues. This is all that fascia release theory. I warm my body weight up here. And now I'm going to take it more into like the glute max. And that's my sacrum, glute max, sacrum, back and forth. We can roll on the sides. Some of us have a bigger booty and you need to do more of the side to side pieces to get all of your real estate. I have dreams of having that issue, <laughs> to have a booty. Okay, now we're gonna take it into our back. This is a good time to tie your hair up. <laughs> so this is more of my lumbar spine I'm doing right now. And my abs are working pretty hard for me. If this is a little much, you can always, it's just my roller slippery. You can always be here and body weight supporting with your palms. Just careful not to hyperextend your shoulders. Okay? And then you can go side to side. I'm going to take it up to mid back where lumbar and thoracic connect. Ooh, go slow. So sometimes I'll do these just by themselves as a way of doing ab curls. This is what the full movement looks like. Ab curl. And my butt's hovering the whole time. So now you can make the choice to come down, give yourself an assist, or you can stay up the whole time. For whatever reason, this newish roller is sliding a little bit, but normally, I do something more like this with a stickier roller. Okay. And now I'm going into all those long shoulder blade muscles that I just spent the last video working so hard on. They need this. This one is hard to describe, but I'm trying to open up underneath the shoulder blades into the rib cage and then coming on over to muscles underneath the armpit that connect into the arm and the shoulders. You kind of have to find it in your own body versus watching me. So I can turn on my side and find it here. Be careful with how much body weight you lean into this. I'm pretty familiar with how to do this. And stretch out. This is some of the back line of the body muscles we get so into in Pilates. It's really helpful once you can find it. And then just a little bit of smushing out here. I'm gonna take it over to the other side. Try not to fall off. Sort of evaluating here. Okay, found a spot I like. Back and forth here. Okay, and then back to my upper back here. I'm supporting the weight of my head in my hands. I call it the hand hammock. You don't want to be back here and really letting your neck hold up your, your head. You want to be more in that chin nod, a little bit of um, cervical curl. Cervical curl. Use those abs. Ab curl, ab curl, ab curl while you're rolling up your upper spine here. I'm rounding my spine into this. It's appropriate for me. Make sure you're okay in flexion. Ugh. I'm 
Okay, and then I'm gonna lay down with this roller back. If you have trouble with tension headaches, maybe avoid this one, just be really careful. Don't necessarily put the full weight of your head on the roller. This has taken me a while with migraines to get comfortable here, but I'm getting some of that fascial release in my occipus here, which is right above where the head and the neck connect. And then I can give myself a little traction similar to chin mods, growing a little taller. And then I come up in that curl, reset the roller, give myself some traction. Okay, two more times. Okay, I'm gonna level back and forth here again. All right, we're gonna flip over to our front sides. This one can be a little nerdy, so hold on here, it's a wild ride. Um, I did it in the last video, but in the beginning of this one, while um, on all fours, but you can do all that yummy shoulder work here too stretching out and strengthening and taking it into small swans. So feel free to pause and do all those pieces. It's also a place you can roll out your forearms, which probably don't get enough TLC. Um, Robin Carlson taught me to use a wine cork to do this. It's, it's pretty amazing. So thank you, Robin. Very awkward to find, but you can do some deltoid, just arm muscle pieces here. Ooh, careful, not too much body weight. Okay, and the other side. This won't be some people's jam, <laughs> that's fine. It's rolling out your abdominal muscles in the front of your hips. I'm not using my full body weight into this. It's a little bit like planking. Don't do this after a meal. And then you can add some ab stretch into here too. But you gotta use your abs while you're stretching or else it just goes into your low back. A more dynamic version is your swan. Open up those collarbones. Okay, let's get to our quads and our hip flexors. So I'm mostly focusing on my right side here. And then catching my body weight when I need to if it gets too intense, but let's get into the TFL, IT band even. And then down to the different parts of the quad. Okay, for me, I can swing that left leg over and have some more body weight support here. Just adjust the rollers you need to. Again, not going over my knee, just starting above the knee here. Those infamous BMOs that I'm always harping on everyone to strengthen, you can get into. Okay, and another one, I can't believe I'm videoing this, but your inner thigh, it's kind of awkward to find. You can bend the knee and just go where you need to here. Now to my left side. I'm going to start with all this wacky inner thigh work. This will be a good blackmail video if you guys need it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to 
gonna do my quad on the left side. What do you know? This is a bunch of upper body work here, too. And then that TFL, maybe IT band on my left side. One's another hip flexor stretch. I find getting into this one like you were a bridge pretty useful. So did you see that? <laughs> Starting with my um, heels up against that roller, lifting into a bridge, putting the roller underneath my sacrum, my tailbone, and then I'm pelvic curling, just kind of playing around with where everything is bringing one knee into chest and really extending that left leg away. Trying to find a stretch through here. Watching the clock that it goes for about 30 seconds. Careful not to get too short on this side of your waist. Really extend that femur out. Okay, and then back into that pelvic curl. You can also well, windshield wiper side to side here. And then I'm gonna go into a glute stretch. So in this orientation, that stretches over on my right side. If I need some more stretch, I can press out on my knee here on the right side, bringing that left knee in for more stretch. Okay, some other pieces you can do is going back and forth with one leg crossed over the other here. So one side it will be glute. Right now this is IT band. This is glute. Feel free to pause the video and hold any of these for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna switch my orientation of crossing my legs. So right now this is whoop, <laughs> more IT band right through here. And I'm never arching into my low back. On this roller, I'm staying in a flex, spinal flexion position. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this out into my glute stretch. So pressing this knee out, bringing this right leg in, that gives me a stretch out here on my left side. Try not to shorten up in my waist on either side. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this left knee in and straighten my right leg over this roller, still in some spinal flexion here. Always add on a hamstring stretch here. Ooh, my roller's too slippery though. So I'm gonna abandon that one. Okay, I saved the best for last. We're gonna do mermaid. This is so cool that you can access this great move from reformer and from the trapeze table here with a roller. Okay, so I'm Z sitting, left knee is towards the roller, right shin is away from us. And I'm gonna make a little blade out of my hand 
And then think here, I'm lifting this side of my ribs, my right side up to the ceiling. Don't let this shoulder come to your ear. And then up tall you go. You can add all sorts of fun counter stretch. Really try and stay in that lateral plane, make it intentional. This will be the last one this style. Let me do that one over again. I'm gonna bring my hand out to that blade. Okay, come in a little bit and pause and rotate. A little different than the reformer that we don't combine the two. My hands are wide here. Using that spinal flexion in and out. You can go into a wee bit of extension if that's appropriate for your body. Oh. Stretching out like a cat can feel really good here. Okay. Spinal flexion to come in. Okay. And then the other side. Starting with that Z sit. My bottom arm is like a blade here. Just, I'm not all the way into my bend, and now I can go into rotation. Awesome. Okay, that's a great point to end. I'm going to do a separate video for some thoracic.